A group of local students is ditching their school books for a few hours a week, trading them in for elaborate costumes for a very important cause. Their mission, creating special moments of magic, touching the lives of young patients all across our area. This college apartment converted. So you ladies almost have an assembly line with all of your makeup here. Sparkly eyeshadow, heavy blush, and a dash of butterflies. It's like good nerves. Always good nerves. These Temple University co-eds transforming into fairy tale princesses. Wigs, ball gowns, and even glass slippers. Not for Halloween, but for a very serious reason. See their face light up in such like a difficult, usually time. Um, I just wanted to bring that here. It's a routine they go through several times a month. How many princesses can you fit in one car? Making trips to children's hospitals all across the Delaware Valley for this. It's very nice to meet you, Princess Zoe. <laughs> You're welcome. These students are the face of their temple's chapter of a nonprofit called A Moment of Magic, creating magical moments of smiles for sick children and kids with health and mobility challenges. Stephanie Fallon is a president also known as Cinderella. There are so many great hospitals in the Philly area alone that I was like, I need to bring it here. It was a no-brainer. On this day, the Parade of Princesses is at Shriners Hospital for Children. I would imagine coming here can be a little bit intimidating for a young kid. Yes. They don't know what to expect or what's going on. The characters' visits making all the difference. <laughs> that was perfect. Some patients come from across the country. Others, like Emerson, travel even further. He's all the way from London for treatment, often painful and taxing. We have a long journey here and, you know, a, a whole heap of multiple appointments, x-rays, blood tests occasionally, MRI scans and things like that. And, and what these guys do is it's just amazing to, to help us through all of that. The happiness and laughter these characters bring to the children return to these volunteers tenfold, creating moments they cherish as well. It's been the best decision I've made, not only in my college career, but in my life. Yeah. That says a lot. <laughs> It certainly does say a lot. These students go through 40 hours of training in order to prepare them to deal with sick children. The chapter at Temple has about 40 members and continues to grow. It is one of more than 20 chapters around the country. That is very impressive. Isn't it? And, you know, they certainly make such an impression on those little kids who are often, you know, intimidated and scared yeah. by what they're going through, but they make those difficult days a little bit easier well, good for, for them. them. Very yeah. good for them.